when you are using the distributive property, you will take the number outside of the parentheses and multiply it by every single number inside. So you distribute it or pass it out to every single number that's inside. So in this one, we're going to take the 2 and multiply it by the a, which gives us negative 2a. And then you also have to multiply our negative 2 by the minus 5. So the, mi the 2 minuses will end up giving you a positive 10. One way to remember the commutative property is to think about your commute to work. If you travel the same distance, whether you're going from home to work or work to, to home, so your commute is the same distance either way. And the commutative property says you're going to get the same answer whether you do x times 95 or 95 times x. So either way you do it, you get the same answer. That's the commutative property. And this is multiplication. That's why it's b instead of the commutative property of addition, a. So on this problem, we need to combine like terms. And, and so what we have is 6cm minus... 1 cm, and the 1 is not written here, but it can help you to, to write it in. So this, the cm is some value, it stands for something, we don't know what it is, so it's variables, we use cm, but we have 6 of them, and we're subtracting 1 of them, whatever, whatever that cm stands for, we're taking having 6 and subtracting 1, which will leave us with 5 of them then. So you just do kind of normal subtraction, but you're subtracting the, the numbers here in front of the variables. Here we're trying to simplify, simplify the expression, and what you're going to do here is just combine the like terms, so similar to the previous problem. So the only terms that we can combine, they have to have the same variables, the same unknowns. So we're going to be able to combine this, the term with the n squared, with this one with the n squared. And then this term with the m can combine with that one with the m. And when we combine all those, it'll be simplified. Um, so I showed the first steps here. The one key thing is to use the distributive property. Um, so we're minusing this entire thing in parentheses. So you need to minus not only that, but also minus that. So when you minus the negative 6 n squared, minus the negative gives you the plus. And when you minus a negative 17, you get plus 17. All right, and on this line, I color-coded the terms that have the same variables because we can combine those, which will end up simplifying the expression. So if we had 5n squared and we added 6 more, that'll give us a total of 11n squared. Whatever n squared stands for, we know we have 11 of them because we had 5, we added 6. And then if we were subtracting 10, and then we add 7, we would end up with a positive 7m. Here's another one where we're simplifying the expression. Basically, again, we're going to combine the like terms. So the terms with the x's can be put together. And then the terms that are just plain numbers, we can put those together. Um, so here, I rewrote it without the parentheses. Uh, so we're adding everything in this parentheses, so it's going to be a plus 10x and also plus the positive 90. So you don't have to change any of the signs. Uh, and then here the x's can be put together. That'll give you 9x and 10x will give you 19x. And then the numbers can be put together. You have 11, you have 90 more, that'll give you 101. Uh, another one here for simplifying the expression. Like the first step is going to be to distribute correctly. So a negative 2 needs to be multiplied by the x, so negative 2x. And also, the negative 2, negative 3 gives you a positive 6. Again, distribute here, minus 8. And minus 4 times a positive 1 gives you minus 4. And then this number is just there by itself. Or this letter X. I color coded it again. So you're minusing 2X, minusing 8 more, so now you're minusing 10 altogether, minus 1 more, you're minusing 11X, and a plus 6, but then take away 4, that would leave you at plus 2.